The first thing I want to say is that fairly recently, Microsoft changed the name of the Windows Store to the Microsoft Store. So when you take the exam, you may encounter both terms. It's also possible that if you're using version 1703, as we are in, in our demonstrations on this course, you'll see the term Windows Store within the user interface. So don't be concerned, it's the same thing. So Microsoft Store apps are designed to be uh, more focused on one or a small subset of tasks and are usually optimized for a specific device type, so a tablet, a phone, a desktop computer, for example. The recent proliferation of these small task-focused apps and of the app stores used to deliver them raises challenges for IT support staff because your users want to be able to use these apps across all their devices. So it's important for you to know how to configure your Windows 10 devices to support the use of these new apps. Microsoft have provided you with the Microsoft Store app to access the Microsoft Store. You can see here that I'm signed in, as indicated up in the top right here, and that there are in fact 28 downloads waiting for me. Those are updates. And I can use a very simple interface to navigate apps, games, films and TV and so forth. By default, apps update automatically. In this screenshot here, you can see that I've turned that feature off. And consequently, there are 28 updates waiting. This allows your users to exert more control over what apps they want to update. You can also configure Microsoft Store app settings through the Settings app. By default, new apps will save to the C drive, but you can specify that behavior by, by specifying an alternate location. For particular apps, you can also move their location. You can see here an app, Facebook, is installed and I've got the option to move or ultimately to uninstall the app. Some organizations want to block access to the Microsoft Store. You can do that using the following procedure. On a domain controller, open Group Policy Management and then open the appropriate Group Policy object for editing. Navigate to the User Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Store folder and open the Turn Off the Store Application value. Enable this value, click OK and close Group Policy Management. Bear in mind that it will take a period of time between 19 and 128 minutes for the policy to refresh, but you can force that using GP update slash force on specific client computers. Note that to access the Microsoft Store in the first place, users do not need a Microsoft account. However, to install apps, they do. The Microsoft account can be set to itself, i.e. linked to no other account, or it can be linked to a domain account. We'll talk a bit more about that later on in the course. The Microsoft Store for Business and the Microsoft Store for Education provides a free, to Azure subscribers, store for your line of business applications. It enables a private store accessible only by users in your organization. It enables you to distribute apps and to integrate with management tools. It enables automatic app updates and provides for license tracking and management. To use the Microsoft Store for Business, you require Windows 10 devices. The Windows Update service must be enabled on your Windows 10 devices. Users will require an Azure AD account. You'll also, obviously, I think, require an internet connection and a web browser for administration. The management interface for the Microsoft Store for Business looks like this. I'm signed in up here on the top right and down the left hand side you have a navigation pane which allows you to do access things like billing, order history, permissions and settings. In the center in the overview pane you can see next expiring subscriptions and tri trials, license availability and recent purchases listed. We've also got the option to access the private store up here on the menu bar. Not all organizations will want to use the Microsoft Store for Business for whatever reason. Perhaps the organization is small or has a fairly small number of line of business applications. Many organizations still develop and use Microsoft Store apps for internal use. So another way to make these apps available is to sideload them. Sideloading is a technique by which the app is installed without requiring access to the Microsoft Store. To sideload apps, you must have a .appx installer file for the app. 
The installer file must be digitally signed by an authority that you trust, or more specifically, that the computers within your organization trust. So this could be a, a privately signed certificate um, for internal use only, or it can be a digital signature obtained from uh, an authority that Windows 10 already trusts. You must then enable sideloading in the settings app. Finally, you can install the app using the add appx package Windows PowerShell commandlet. To sideload an app, enter settings, then choose update and security, and then on the for developers tab shown here, select the sideload apps.